One of the gold medals that you won in a relay was 2008, and yeah. you reveal in this book that you had an abortion two weeks before that yeah. Olympic Games. Yeah. Why did you want to reveal that very personal moment in the book? The truth is, it's an issue that's not really talked about, especially in sports. And a lot of young women have experienced this. Like, I literally don't know another female track and field athlete who hasn't had an abortion. And that's sad. And so for me, I'm hoping that this will open up some discussions to helping especially a lot, lot of young women who were in my situation not experience what I did. Why do you think it's so pervasive? You said you do not yeah. know another female track athlete yeah. who hasn't had one. I think because at that time in your life, when you're in college, you know, you don't feel comfortable talking to your mom. And so a lot of the, the information you get are from your peers. And I mean, it's going to sound silly to some people, but, you know, like in our community, people don't want to take the pill because you put water weight on. And of course, as an athlete, you want to be able to stay as fit and as healthy as possible. And then people tell you, well, when you're, when you're extremely fit, you can't get pregnant because our cycles are shorter. So there's a lot of miseducation that happens to young women in college because we're educating ourselves. And so I didn't know all of my options. And I had been fortunate up until that point. My husband and I had been dating for five years. I was engaged to him. I had no, no mishaps prior. And so I was just put in a really, really, really tough situation. And, you know, for me, it was so much more than the physical. I mean, of course, you can imagine after the procedure, I wasn't even supposed to run. The doctors told me take 14 days off. I didn't have 14 days. But it was more for me about the spiritual and emotional part of the experience that I wanted to share because it wasn't until even I started this journey that I uncovered some of the hurt that was still there and, you know, and really trying to forgive myself. I knew that God had forgiven me for it, but really forgiving myself for that choice and really moving on. And now that I'm going to be a mother and now that God has blessed me again, I felt like I needed to kind of purge myself of that and hopefully help others do the same. You mentioned also that, you know, your husband, Aaron Ross, who played in the NFL as a yeah. Super Bowl champion, that he was in training camp at the time. So you had to go through this yeah. alone. Yeah. And it still put a strain on your marriage. Yeah. How'd you guys get through that? Well, you know, so what ended up happening was when I called him, because he was in, in Albany at training camp, you know, I could feel the hurt in his voice. And I mean, he was there for me as much as he could be, but it was something that we kind of never talked about. It was almost like, if we don't talk about it, it didn't happen. And so my mom came with me and, um, I'm emotional talking about it now, but you know, but it, it, for, for so much of my relationship, I felt like I experienced it by myself. And so when Ross and I finally like dealt with it, you know, I, I was able to see his hurt, you know, and he thought for a long time maybe we were being punished because we didn't, hadn't gotten pregnant again. And, you know, a lot of times, sometimes you believe those lies when you, you know, make poor choices and you want to live your life a certain way. And so it was really freeing for both of us when we said, you know what, God, we really want you to take this away from us and we are sorry for making this poor choice. And it brought us closer together. Um, but there was definitely something always kind of underlying that we needed to address and I'm really grateful that we did.